Hey there, YouTube. Uh, back here with another uh, Factorio video. I uh, wanted to make a quick uh, tutorial on how to get started with uh, parameterized blueprints. Uh, just how to how to get working with them at a basic level, not uh, all of the advanced features that are available, but just kind of how to get started with them. Um, so I'll kind of do a quick walkthrough and show an example of how, how they work, and uh, uh, towards the later end there will be some info about uh, specifically about parameterized blueprints. So, um, so what is a parameterized blueprint? So you've, you've probably seen a blueprint like this one before, just a regular blueprint. Uh, so over here you have my different items in the blueprint, like this one has a, a provider chest and a lamp, and they're connected with a circuit. Um, so that's what we'll be looking at for this demo. Um, but for parameterized blueprints in general, they are, they kind of let you create a blueprint, but give it settings that you can customize. So anytime when you create a new instance of the blueprint, uh, when you're using parameterization, you can have a few settings that you specify. Like for example on this one here, I have a, an item parameter and uh, an item uh, count parameter. So you see here when you go to create an instance of it, it asks me for what's the item and what's the item count. Um, so that's really nice because if I want to have a single blueprint that I create, you know, a hundred times, but it varies slightly from one instance to the next, uh, that allows me to kind of customize that. Okay, so let's take a quick look at how this, uh, this current design works. So you have a chest and a lamp on it. Um, the chest is, you put stuff in it, you see it has one slot there, and then the lamp uh, has a condition there to enable or disable it. Uh, based on uh, the items in the chest. So if we look at another example over here in my base, uh, you'll see here's uh, a chest with 200 advanced circuits in it. Um, and then you'll see the condition here is if, uh, if the chest does not have 100 advanced circuits, then the lamp is going to turn red. Um, so that 100 is a typo, that should be 200. And so you see that um, set to 200 and then the light turns off. So basically what it's saying is that um, once you fill up one slot of the chest, the, the lamp will turn red, right? Because, or, or sorry, if you have not filled up one slot of the chest, the, tam the lamp will turn red. And the idea is to have kind of a warning whenever that um, chest is not filled up, right? So you can kind of see that throughout your base. So now go, going back over to the example here, so you'll see, yep, you got the chest there. Uh, so this is kind of the blueprint version of it, and you can set the uh, the limit on the, the number of slots there, and the blueprint will save that information uh, so that you're not overproducing items. Um, all right, you can choose whatever you want there. One slot, five slots, whatever. For me, I'm just doing one slot. Uh, and then here's the lamp. Of course, they're connected with the with the green circuit. And like I said, you have that condition there. Now the lamp is set up to show as red here. Uh, you can do whatever color you want. Like so, for example, if you wanted to say, I want to turn the lamp on when the chest is full, you could give it like a green signal and you, know, you could change the logic around. But for my case, I'm just doing a, a warning when it's not full. Uh, so I'm going with red there. So now uh, looking at the condition on the chest, just a little more, or sorry, on the light lamp in a little more detail. So you look at the lamp there, and on the left side there's the item you're looking for, and the condition is that it's not equal to the value of 50. Um, so that's the piece that we want to parameterize in the blueprint. You see I can put another item in there, and it, it doesn't change how the lamp uh, shows up or not. And then when you put the 50 in there, it'll, it'll shut off. Um, so that's the condition that we want to parameterize in our blueprint here. All right, so first to start out, we'll create a bl basic blueprint for it. Uh, so here's a, like if we were just creating a new blueprint from scratch, here's what it looked like. You would go in here, create the blueprint, and uh, select the items and to the blueprint. So here's just your basic standard blueprint, and then you know, we're gonna create two instances of it. All right, so stuff you've already seen before with regular blueprints, uh, but you see it it kept, it remembered the uh, the chest uh, the number of slots to uh, to make unavailable, and it remembered the item and the count uh, 
that we said in the original blueprint. Now, what happens here if, if I want to change these, though? Right, if I want to use this that one for regular belts and this other one for stone bricks, and I want to use different counts for each one, for example. Um, if I want to do that, I have to remember after I set the blueprint down to go back in and customize it, and that can be a big pain when you're creating a lot of base, a, a large base, and you have you're trying to set down a lot of these blueprints. So that's where we'll bring in parameterized blueprints here. Yeah, so looking at the blueprint, um, you can click this purple icon up here to look at the parameters on it. And you'll see here with this blueprint we created, there are two parameters. So there's the item on the top, and then there's the value, um, which is the that count right there. Um, so if you have certain settings in here, like for other recipes or other counts and stuff, um, these will also show up in the blueprint. And so if you want to clean up your blueprint and simplify it, um, you might want to clear those parameters out. And so just to show that here, I just uh, added those back and saved it. And now you see you have all this extra noise in the parameters, all these other uh, recipes that I don't care about for the purposes of this blueprint. So uh, yeah, you might want to clear those out. And uh, if you go back into here, clear them out, uh, clear, the, clear those extra unneeded recipes out, and then you uh, save the blueprint again, you'll see that it clears them out of the uh, parameter list. So overall it seems to be saving basically like any numeric values or any recipes that are in the recipe, uh, in the blueprint, and saving those as parameters. Alright, so fair enough, you can do that. Now uh, you can give each uh, parameter a name, so that's probably a good thing to do. So for here it's, uh, I want to I want to store the recipe I want to specify what's the recipe in the chest and you know how many of that recipe do I want to have in the chest. Those are my basically my parameter names there. Um, so once you do that, oh, that's also important. You have to set that as a parameter. You have to click that checkbox. Um, if you don't, then it's it's not a parameter. So you go in there, click the checkbox to make it a parameter. Save the blueprint the item and now you see when you, whenever you spit create the blueprint it'll uh, it'll ask you for those values right. uh, and also right there see where I switch it from 100 to 200 uh, that is a default value right so you see here when, you, um, when I spun it up it created uh, 200 by default uh, now you can't set a default recipe I don't believe but uh, you can for a, a number. So, you know, that could be handy sometimes. Like, so right here, if, if I say I want to default to solar panels but make it a parameter, it doesn't let you it doesn't let you do that. You have to use that that purple parameter special thing there. Um, so now you go to spin it up, and then you can say, alright, for this blueprint, I want to I want to create a, an assembling machine, and I want to have however many 50 of these in here. Right. Um, then once it gets constructed, we'll look at it. Same thing there. Then if you look at the lamp, now the condition is 50 uh, assembly machines. Right. So fairly simple, but the nice thing is that anytime you set uh, stamp down the blueprint, you don't have to remember what the parameters are. You can specify them once in the blueprint definition, and then anytime uh, from that point forward, that you create one of these things, it's gonna ask you for the stuff that's gonna change from one instance to the next. Um, so really nice for quality of life, and if you want to like mass produce some of these things. Um, so that's pretty much all for now. Uh, I will uh, I'll post a the blueprint string in the video description uh, if you want to check that out. And uh, also want to mention this is all for relevant to Factorio Space Age version 2.0.15. So, yeah, they may add to this in the future. At least that's all. Thanks.